what sort of treatments do I do in my office for POTS that are different than other treatments. So on the one hand, I use the same treatments, or I certainly use treatments that are available to everyone else. So for POTS, uh, beta blockers or other medicines that help slow down the heart or keep the heart from going fast. Nidadrine, it helps make the veins squeeze more tightly and make sure blood's getting to the brain. Fludrocortisone, I don't use that as much, but fludrocortisone that helps increase the blood volume. Um, but, you know, there's nuances in how you dose them. There's nuances in what's an adequate trial. So I've seen patients, you know, where the med was given up on too soon by, by the doctor who prescribed it, or it wasn't, the dosing wasn't right, you know, it wasn't pushed up high enough. It's like, oh, you took this, all right, it's not helping. Or just stopping, it's like, well, you're on one medicine and it didn't help and they just oddly just don't do anything. And again, we've got different meds, so you wanna just keep, keep moving and, and uh, keep the ball rolling. Um, again, sometimes it's a combination of medicine. Sometimes people, you know, you really need to understand what's driving the POTS and so sometimes MCAS is actually what you need to treat because that's aggravating the POTS and that's why the POTS treatments aren't working and you treat the MCAS side of things and then treatments that previously didn't help the POTS that much start working better. Or um, again, very often in the folks who have MCAS, they have what we call hyperadrenergic POTS where the sympathetic nervous system is just more active than it should be, more active than in the average person with POTS. And that can be much harder to treat and sometimes there's more specialized medications like something called carbidopa. So there's, it, it all comes down to, you know, trying as best as we can figure out the big picture. And sometimes it's, it's, it's more straightforward, sometimes it's harder, but um, not to be discouraging. So, I mean, many of you have, you know, it's hard enough just to get a doctor to say, yeah, you have POTS as opposed to, yeah, I don't know, your heart beats a little fast, you must be anxious, or you're just not drinking enough water. And so, but then to get to the point where, yes, you do have POTS, or a physician's doctor provider says, I believe you have POTS, and then they treat you. Um, and again, fortunately, many patients will do well with whatever treatment gets started, but sometimes it's like a lot of things in medicine, there's just a lot of nuance to it.